In this video, I'm going to go over a technique for drawing a picture of your choice called grid drawing. Our first step, which I want you guys to do with me now, is to take a piece of tracing paper, lay it over top of the picture you have chosen, and go ahead and begin tracing your picture. Once you've finished tracing your picture, it's time to start making a grid. And a grid, it's basically a graph or a series of squares that's going to go across the entire picture. For this step, you're going to need a ruler and you're going to need a pencil. You're going to begin by lining up your ruler with the top of your tracing. And you're going to notice how many inches across it measures. This paper measures 11 inches. Your paper may measure something different. I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to mark every inch um, until I get all the way across my paper. So I'm going to mark the 1, mark the 2, mark the 3, the 4, the 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and I can't really see the 11, so I'm going to keep that blank. My next step, I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to line it up with the top of the paper and try to bring these lines all the way down so that I'm going to have lines running up and down the entire page. When I line up my ruler, I don't want it to go in the middle of the lines, I want it to touch the lines. Once I'm finished with that, I want to get my lines going across my picture. The way I'm going to do that is, just like I lined up my ruler to measure the top, I'm going to line up my ruler to measure how long the paper is on the side. And I'm going to notice that my paper measures eight and a half inches. Again, yours might measure something different. And just like I did on the top, I'm going to mark every inch. So I'm marking the one, the two, the three, four, five, six, seven, and the eight. Next, I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to line it up with each of these lines to get my lines going across the page. And again, I'm not putting my ruler above the lines, I'm not putting my ruler above the lines, I'm putting it up so that when I put my lines across, they touch my marks that I just made. My last step is I'm going to number my boxes going across and number my boxes going down. This step allows me to check and make sure that I have the correct number of boxes. I remember that when I measured how long the top of my page was, it said 11 inches. That means I should have 11 boxes going across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Perfect. I also remember that when I measured how long the side was, it said eight and a half inches. That means I should have eight boxes going down plus a little bit extra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Once you finish this step, you're ready to move on and create a grid on a larger sheet of paper. The paper that I'm going to use for my final drawing is much bigger than the paper that I used for my tracing. So that means that every square that we make has to be a lot bigger. 
What I'm going to do for this step, I'm going to line up my ruler with the top just like I did before. But since my paper is much bigger, I'm not going to mark every inch. I'm going to count by twos and mark every two inches. So I'm going to mark the four, mark the six, mark the eight, mark the 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and then 24 is just at the very edge. Next, just like I did for my first grid, I'm going to take my ruler, line it up to bring these lines all the way down. Again, I'm not putting my ruler in front of the lines, I'm not putting my ruler behind the lines, but I'm putting it so that it intersects the lines and I can bring them all the way down to the bottom of the page. Next, I'm going to get my lines running across the page. So just like I took my ruler and I lined it up with the top to measure how long the top is, I'm going to line it up with the side and measure how long the side is. This paper is 18 inches long. And because this paper is much bigger than my first paper, again, I'm not marking every inch, I'm going to count by twos. So I'm going to mark the two, mark the four, six, eight, ten, 12, 14, 16, and the 18 is just at the very edge. Next, I'm going to take my ruler, line it up, and bring those lines all the way across. My last step is I'm going to add my numbers going across the top and down the bottom. Remember that in our tracing picture we created, we had 11 boxes going across and we had eight boxes going down. We want the exact same number of boxes going across and down on our large sheet. So I wanna make sure that I count 11 going across and eight going down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once you're finished with this step, you're ready to begin drawing. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to take this image and put it on this paper using your grid.